Usury is a term that we don't hear much anymore. Historically, it has meant one of two things. First, it's sometimes been used in general to refer to lending money at interest. Right? That is, I give someone $100, right? and I say that he has to say for every week he doesn't pay me back, he has to add 50 cents to it. Okay, that would be a simple rate of interest. Right? So it's lending money at interest, as opposed to saying, here's $100, Pay me back. Okay. Uh, pay me back a hundred dollars. Sometimes it has been used to mean lending money at immorally high rates of interest. Okay. So if I said, "Here's a hundred dollars. Every day that you don't pay me back is going is going to be twenty dollars." Right. When I know it's going to take him a long time to pay me back. Right? Well, that might be considered what people would call a usurious rate of interest. For whatever reason, the term usury has declined. I suspect in part because uh, opposition to lending money at interest, and perhaps particularly the term, has often been associated with anti-Semitism. Okay. Why is this the case? Well, in the Middle Ages, Christians were not allowed to lend money to each other. Okay. So what did they do? Well it became a niche, I'm not sure if it was by choice or by force or just by desperation, right? it became a niche for some of the Jewish residents of Europe right? who did not have full rights in the society. One thing they were allowed to do was lend money to Christians at interest. Right? And so opposition to lending money and interest got mixed in with anti-Semitism. Right? In fact, recently, Recently, I met someone who was arguing against any lending money at interest. Right? And another person said he kind of suspected that that was partly she was influenced by some people who were anti-Semitic. Okay? So I'm just going to talk about high rates of interest. Right? The traditional term is usury. You might see that in books.